Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. This is the sawtooth chain block 12 inch finished. Here is the diagram. We have squares, half square triangles, and four patch units, which are squares. Here are two different designs of four blocks set together. These are rotated in the corners, and these are all going in the same direction. So you have a couple of choices there if you want to set these block to block. Here are the patches. Patch A is a three inch finished square. We cut three and a half inch pieces and we need four patches of the background and two patches of the red fabric. And these, the red goes in the corners and the, the white or the background goes in a diagonal like this. Patch B is a three inch finished half square triangle. You cut three and seven eighth inch squares, then cut the squares in half once diagonally for two patches. If you are cutting and sewing patches, which you will do with the AccuQuilt, and you can also do for rotary cutting. You'll need eight patches of each of the background and the blue fabric. If you want to do half square triangles two at a time, we'll cut the squares the same size, but don't subcut them. And there'll be a little tutorial that shows you how to do this. And so if you are doing squares, you'll need four squares of, of the background and of the blue fabric. Patch C is a one and a half inch finished square. We'll cut two inch squares and you can sew the patches together. There's four patches of the dark fabric and four patches of the background fabric. You can cut squares and then sew the four patch units or you can strip piece them. If you are strip piecing, you cut from each fabric, you cut one strip at two inches times nine inches and the nine inches gives you a little extra wiggle room. If you want to cut patches with your AccuQuilt, here are the dies that will do that. And here are the other dies for the other patches. First thing we're going to do is make the half square triangles, then we'll make the four patch units, and then we'll assemble the block. Here are my fabrics. These are the squares that go in the corners and in the diagonal. These are the squares I've cut for the half square triangles two at a time. Since you need a total of eight half square triangles, you could do the half square triangles eight at a time. I like doing them two at a time. And then here are our strips for our four patch unit. So I'm going to go and make the half square triangles first. We'll have a total of eight half square triangles. And if you're not familiar with the two at a time method, stay tuned for this short tutorial that shows you how to do that. On the back side of the light fabric, we're going to draw a diagonal line, put the fabrics together, right sides together, and we're going to stitch on either side of the diagonal line. Here is the diagonal line drawn and then the stitching on both sides. Now we cut this in half along the diagonal line then we have our two half square triangles. Press the seams open and cut off the nubs. For the four patches, we're going to sew the two strips together along the long side, quarter of an inch, and press the seams open. We're going to subcut this strip into four pieces at two inches. We'll sew our four patches together like this. We'll have two four patches and press the seams open. All the units are done. Now we'll take out our profit board and put the block together. Let's start with the four patches. Now you know the drill. We'll sew the units together into rows. We have four rows. Then we'll sew the rows together to finish the block. Tomorrow, in addition to the block of the day, I'm going to release another video that shows the setting for my Quilt of Valor. And you can use this setting for any sampler 
blocks or any sampler quilt and here is a sneak peek. This is one of the rows. So be sure and watch the second video tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.